what other things in the Bitcoin space, whether it's uh, companies that are starting up or, um, you know, new protocols that are being proposed that have got you guys really excited that we haven't talked about so far in this conversation? Ben, you want to go first since you've been uh, quiet for a while? Yeah, I think uh, Fediment's probably one of the biggest things that's like happening now in the space. It's pretty cool. It's like using this um, thing called a Chamin eCash server. It's basically like the kind of the properties of it. It's perfect privacy, but fully custodial. And it's, it's funny because it's something that was invented like 30 years before Bitcoin was. And like initially, like some banks used it, but it got like either like shut down or just failed. And, um, you know, then it was just kind of in like, oh, this is a cool idea, but failed in the fiat world. Now, people are trying again on Bitcoin because, um, you know, now they can make these Fetty Mints like interoperable between each other where you can have like multiple banks that talk to each other through Bitcoin. And um, it's all Bitcoin denominated, but you still can have this perfect privacy on top of it. So um, I think it's going to be like a really cool solution to potentially like having, um, I know, another way to do privacy on Bitcoin. It will be custodial, but I think like, um, you know, the idea is it's a Fediment, so it's a federation running running it. So it's a lot harder. You know, you can't just have like one person rug pull. You'd need to be a collection of people. And if you, you know, make it sufficiently large, it should be, you know, safe enough for, um, you know, amounts to keep on there for privacy. Love it. Yeah, Tony, I agree. I, yeah, Fediment, man. It's from a from a privacy standpoint, I think it's really exciting. I mean, yeah, there is there is a custodial aspect, right? But um, you know, I think, I mean, even myself, like I'm not, I'm not going to be using it, um, to, because I'm not capable of custody. Right. Um, like I want to use it so that the spending money that I have and the daily, you know, uh, spending and receiving that I may do on, on a mobile wallet, like I want that to be as, as private as possible. And, um, even with lightning, even with PLN, um, just how I described it earlier, like, you know, there's still lightning channels. There's still like being online. There's still like liquidity issues receiving, um, you know, you need inbound liquidity to receive on lightning. So you need channels open and then you need all these other things to follow. Like, like that's, you know, not practical from like an everyday standpoint in a lot of ways and, and for everyone. Right. So if I want just like a lightning wallet, that works really well and, and Fediment actually works with it integrates with lightning um incredibly well you can like bounce between federations but just going through lightning all kinds of amazing things you can do with just their lightning integrations like they basically have lightning gateways that are attached to the federation so that a lightning gateway will honor you know the tokens from the federation that it's attached to and through that mechanism you can you can basically receive on lightning um, atomically. So, you know, the lightning gateway will accept the funds on your behalf and you'll receive tokens for them. Um, the, these fediment tokens, um, and you know, the lightning gateway can't just like run off with your funds. Um, sure. Like the Federation, if it was all a majority bad actor, um, you know, you, you may lose some funds there. I mean, you're trusting the Federation, but like, to me, I would, I'm fine with like trusting the Federation, with like a month's, you know, even like a month's worth of spending money, whatever I'm talking about, like a few thousand dollars worth of spending money um, at a time, and and to be able to receive the privacy guarantees that Fediment provides. So, like to me, that's an acceptable risk. Um, and you're not just trusting them with your privacy too. Like you can go to Coinbase, you know, and, and Matt O'Dell likes to talk about how like some people will just pay him through Cash App, and then that way Matt doesn't see their Bitcoin wallets, right? He just sees that it's coming from Cash App. So he can't see, you know, he's he doesn't work at Cash App. He doesn't have Cash App's data. So he can't see, you know, the user's hiding amongst, is trusting Cash App with their privacy. Um, and that way no one can like analyze their their data and their transactions. But with Fediment, it's, you're not just trusting Fediment with your privacy. Like they literally don't know um, what your transactions are, what, what your Bitcoin are. They gave you a token at some point that's blinded. So when you go to spend it later, they have no idea if that's still you or not. Like yep. the most they can do if you, and you can do Fediment in all kinds of different ways, but like even in the scenario where you, it, it's a KYC based federation, which I'm sure will exist and there will be non KYC ones and KYC free ones and, you know, stuff like that. Um, even if you're just like a single identity, at a federation and you're receiving these federation, uh, these blinded tokens, the worst they can do is just see how much tokens you have ever received. 
um, but not necessarily. They won't know how much you currently have. They won't know when you've ever spent it, where you spent it to. Um, so there's a lot of beautiful privacy benefits to using, um, you know, Fediment, and it's not just trusting with them with your privacy. It's trusting them with custody, um, but it's got some really great privacy um, guarantees there.